Hey, what's up? This is Jay Hardway. Welcome back into my studio. Today I'm explaining how I made Million Reasons, my latest track together with Zofia. And I'm going to show, take you through the entire production process to show you um, what I start with in a vocal track and how what I end with and how I work around that. So let's go. This is Million Reasons. Little bit of uh, sound card issues because that's because of the recording, uh, but I can still show you the pro uh, the process nonetheless. I'm going to show you what I started with, uh, which is the vocal. There's some processing on this vocal already, but done by the uh, the writers of this track and the producers of the vocal. What's interesting is that the processing is really good as well so i don't need to add a lot to that uh, i just did some extra stuff with reverb which i will show you later uh there's just a valhalla vintage verb on that um with these settings it's the default preset um with a little less mix <laughs> and a little less decay just to give it that extra reverb uh that's what i had and the piano uh the stab piano so It's without any processing. And I added sidechain because it's uh, it works in the mix. Reverb and more reverb, which I use in build-ups. Towards the drop and stuff. That's what I started with. And then I started adding my own elements. The elements without the vocal. And let's just start at the beginning. I, I build chords under the, the verse. Uh, sometimes you get MIDI uh, files for chords. Sometimes... You get piano, but I always like to make my own. So it's two uh, Keyscape plugins and they are filtered. And I'm gonna show you them without any processing. So this is the piano chords. So I like using the chords, maybe I get from the midi pack and then add my own little touches like this little note. And that makes it just a little bit more me, a little bit more unique. And as you can see here, I talked about this before, is I don't have the same starting times for all the notes. And that's uh, to make it more human. So if you let a human play, then you won't hit the note at the exact same time. It will sound very robotic. So it's cool to play around with that a little bit. Uh, and also the same goes for the velocity. So I put that under the first part. But filtered, actually it wasn't filtered in the first versions, but um, one of the writers was like, hey, it's cool if, uh, if, if that would be filtered. So I use this one, emo filter, EMO uh, F2. And it's it's very war like a warm filter. It's hard to explain why I like this uh, filter so much, but just some kind of subtle filtering. And so I really like that. Uh, so yeah, that's the piano actually. There's this little effect. Uh, it's from Omnisphere. It's this weird little sounding effect. Weird delay on it, but I really like that. And then it goes, plays these notes. And that just adds to the uh, to the overall vibe. There's some delay on it. These settings. Fruity delay, if you want to set it time-based, you can right-click this one and then set to certain steps. Very straightforward uh, delay. Balance I use for volume control only in the mix. Valhalla Vintage Verb, which I really like. Mix on 44%. EQ to take out the low frequencies. Uh, Shaper box, really cool plugin. What it does is this is the panning to the left and right of that sound, and it's based on time. So if you have it it's set to two bars, as you can see here, and it will in between two bars move from the left to the right, and you can put that like full left and right, and or change the mix. And I changed the mix to 63%, which is cool. And stereo shaper. To make it more stereo. Seems like a lot of things for such a small effect. But it, it gives it a dreamy feel. And it does a lot for here. And uh, this cashmere sweep down. With uh, it's on 84. I don't know if I use. Nah. No effects on it. 
This sounds clean enough. A little sweep. Also, there is some EQ on that. Reverb. Pretty phaser. To let it phase. A little weird effect. Then there's this synth playing. Uh, well, it's bounced into wave because it was giving me issues with the CPU. But it's a synth master. A uh, very clean sounding organ synth with a lot of uh, stuff on it. EQ, then there's a fab filter to take out an annoying frequency here. Stereo enhancer to make it really stereo. I like the fruity, fruity stereo enhancer. Uh, shaper box as well to make it more dreamy and pan left and right. Vintage verb I use a lot when I want a big reverb that sounds yeah, clean, warm. It's a bit filtered. High frequency is taken out uh, and balance also for volume control. I bounce that, so there's nothing on this uh, this little sample. And then begins. And it sounds clean, it's just the piano. Uh, and with all these little effects, you can add a lot of warmth and interesting elements. So then the second part. I found this really cool uh, percussion loop. It's quite straightforward, this one. You enhancer uh, because usually these are very very in your face in the middle and a lot of low like rumbling noise so it's just way cleaner and these this clap is really cool i really like this clap very yeah real sounding that's added and a sub bass uh nexus bass uh the default sub from Artist series Tiesto. I like that one because it's warm. Still has a bit of like fatness. Um, taking out some of the low frequencies because it, yeah, I just didn't need all this. That's added and it brings a lot of warmth. And it's just so it's just that shaker loop, clap loop, and a bass to add because the vocals doing so much of the work already. So that brings a lot of warmth. The piano filters opening up. Because here in the vocal, we're going into the chorus, and that's the piano stab from the original. Uh, and then I added my own synth and piano stabs. Uh, I did bounce them to wave, as you can see, because, like I said, the CPU was giving me issues. So I just wanted to bounce some stuff. And this is what it sounds like. So we have the piano step with sidechain. Then this one. Then it's this little sin master. And now the sidechain is turned on. EQ on that. And kickstart and free filter. Quite basic. So. And then I add this layer as well. This one. Give that really warm feeling. And that is this one. It's from Synmaster as well. I like Synmaster because it has like a lot of organy, organ sign sounding sounds, and a lot of warmth. And I yeah, I'm just a big fan of this plugin. So that's that also doesn't have that much on it. The soundizer isn't turned on. Uh, uh, kickstart for sidechain EQ. That's it. And together you get. So the original piano. Is already doing a lot. I'm gonna turn the vocal off. The bass is now playing that rhythm as well. So that adds more warmth. This down sweep is there again. There's this little uh, epic movie trailer late zip rise. <laughs> to build up tension as well as these uh, exhaust, uh, cashmere exhaust, which has no low frequency, and some sidechain because I also use it on the drop, I think, and a lot of reverb. The other one is just a crash, a simple one, and a reverse short sweep, which I showed before. And then you go into the chorus, then the clap loop comes back, and then the fun part starts because then that uh, little synth is coming back. Um, and that's cool because it's a really nice little melody.
So just a couple notes change, but that does a lot with this bass that's added. So that, yeah, I don't know, but that melody just works really nicely. And it's also one of the things that I didn't add in the first place, but then those songwriters, because we kept sending it back and forth, and they said, hey, that part's a little bit empty. Maybe you can fill it up with some extra elements. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So I take that little note, little melody, add it, and it's subtle, but it really does a lot for your warmth. And that's important because you want to keep room for the vocal. The vocal is what it's about. So it's, it's very tricky to add subtle little elements that fill up the track, but don't get in the way of the vocal. And I think this... This sound is perfect for it. That bass is added, so that's a diva. Diva has, um, yeah, has a very analog sound, so warm basses. Uh, I use that sometimes for. So, taking out some of the low frequencies and an annoying bass frequency. Because it doesn't need that much bass because I also have that sub bass going on. And because that sub bass is now... Let me check. We have some chords. The sub bass is now also playing... Um, so the whole note instead of just the, the short piano steps. Uh, then we add the lead. But I didn't want to show the lead. But that's a surprise. Strings are added. I use East West Quantum Leap strings and I always use, or always, I use a lot the violas. Uh, and they have a nice expanding tone as you can hear. And channel 69. Stereo and some EQ because they're, yeah, depending on your track, how you need to EQ them. But there's a cool thing going on, which is if you don't really understand music theory or you maybe you understand music theory too much it wouldn't be really possible but i really like it now that i hear it again um, it's this note so it's that third from the from the piano but it's now playing at the same time so it kind of is like i'm not Hear it like that, it's like, hmm, I don't know. But it adds a little drama in there, and I really liked it, so I kept it like this. Like I said, if you maybe you understand music theory too much, you'd be like, you can't do that. That's a note that doesn't belong in there, because if you hear it like this. But in the whole chord structure, it works, and I think that's really exciting. Um, so... Yeah, try to experiment with that. Um, because you can get it wrong as well. Like sometimes you try this with a note and it just ruins the entire chord progression. Yeah, then don't do that, uh, of course. But yeah, that's added. Uh, and then the melody comes up and some uh, elements. So let's go back into the full mix. The vocal's still going, but... These are the build-up elements. They're quite straightforward, and as you can see, I just use a cashmere fill, but it's choosing the right one that will make or break the build-up. Um, so it's not that much of an element, and I just thought this one was the, the perfect one. Uh, some Hyatt. Some Hyatt loop, which I cut like this. So an extra clap as well. That's also playing in a drop. Uh, and what I do with Hyatt loops usually is, well, I did do nothing to it, although it sounds very acute already, but I guess that's just this, uh, this certain loop, you know? So that sounds good. Piano stab still going, uh, and then towards the drop, I take out all the low frequencies. You hear this riser coming, which I recorded on my Uno right there so that just cuts through every mix for some reason really awesome uh, a long sweep just just wide noise and uh, where i take out the low frequencies and add reverb and put it in stereo yeah it's it's like the standard elements and if you combine some of them it makes it less standard so 
Uh, the exhaust, but then reversed. So that's the exhaust I also use before. And then taken out the low frequencies and a little snare snare loop. Very basic. Just coming up in volume, simple. Uh, it does have a little groove, I think. Yeah, As you can see if I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see, but this is where like the line is, and it's I just put the second and fourth note a little bit off, so it gets a little bit more. Oh, and the pitch. Uh, that's what I hear now. No, it's fine. Pitch goes up from the fifth bar. And it's a 909 snare and that just sounds really cool and classic. It's a classic house snare, of course. So, 